Hi, welcome to Jnana Lakmi channel, Python Classroom 2.0. In this session, I am going to show you how to install Python on Windows operating system. We have to follow the pre and post installation instructions as like shown here. As a part of Python installation on Windows, as a first step, check the Python is already exist or not in the system. Open the start menu and type CMD. Select the command prompt application. Now type Python. If you look at there is a message displayed on the screen. Python is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. So this indicates that the Python is not existed or not installed. Check the system configuration where you are going to install Python software and the version of Python required to install. Open the file explorer in the system where you want to install Python software. Select this PC in the left pan and right click, click on properties. The system properties window will be open. The system window shows that it's a Windows 10 64-bit operating system. So we need to select Python release version, which is supported Windows 10 64-bit operating system. It might be a different for others. Open your browser and type a search string Python download for Windows, then enter. There is a search results for Python downloads. Click on the official website python.org slash downloads website for Python releases. There is a download python 3.8.5 button is there. Please do not click on this button. This will download the latest 32 bit python release only but as per our system configuration we need a 64 bit python release which supports windows 10 click on windows as like shown to get all the python releases for windows the latest python 3 release is python 3.8.5 and the latest python 2 release is python 2.7.18 but as per our requirement we are going to install python 3 latest version before going to download the python software let me share the information about python releases and installers the pre-release or beta release versions has been tested internally and is being tested by the wider community it is not recommended for production development stable release versions has been tested as thoroughly as possible and is a reliable as we can make it we recommend to use stable release versions in our development generally two sets of installers one is 32 bit and another is 64 bit will be available for any release version the release has three types of installers the first one is embeddable zip file second one is executable installer and third one is web based installer here the x86-64 notation represents 64 bit 
and uh, x86 only represents 32 bit installers embedded distribution package is a zip file containing a minimal python environment required to run applications it's a python runtime redistributable the executable installer contains all the components and is the best option for developers using python for any kind of projects normally we recommend to use this installer for installing the software on our system web-based installer is a small piece of software this requires an internet connection to install software on your system I recommend to download the executable installer and in case if the system has 64 bit OS then we prefer to download the 64 bit release in case if the operating system is a 32 bit then download the 32 bit of python release download and install python software on windows okay now click on download windows x86 hyphen 64 bit executable installer this will download the latest python 3.8.5 installer in downloads folder open the downloads folder and select the installer right click on run as an administrator this will pop up the installer window if user selected the checkbox add python 3.82 path so the python installer location path will be updated in system environment variable path i recommend to select the customize installation and this will allow to choose the location of the software to be installed and uh, the features whatever you like and selected depends on your needs uh, in the optional features uh, let's go with the default selection if a user selected the checkbox install for all users so the python software will be installed and available to all users in a customized path for this feature the user need an admin privileges for installing all the users click on install button this will install the software on the system the python software installed successfully verify python was installed on windows as a part of verification please make sure to validate the four steps as like shown here check python and pip was installed or not let's do a quick test open your command line window type python hyphen capital v and press enter this will display the installed python version and type pip hyphen capital v then press enter this will display installed pip version details pip is a standard package management system for python software packages we can use pip to install additional packages that are not available in the python standard library we recommend using pip for most python packages especially when working in virtual environments python installation path verification open the file explorer and go to the python installed directory c program files python 38 might be it 
is a different for you and check the contents python.exe and scripts folder and other binaries are available or not double click on python.exe the python shell window will be open and it shows the version details type the exit to close the web session this is to check whether the python installation directory created properly or not uh, sometimes uh, uh, it may not be created due to the user privileges and permissions check the system environment variable path updated with python installation directory or not open the run command window then type the string system.cpl sysdm.cpl and press enter and the system properties dialog will be open as like shown here click on advanced tab and then click on the environment variable button first of all check the system variable section the path variable exists or not if not existed then create a new one and assign the python installation location directories as like shown here and then press ok double click on path variable and check the python install location directory paths updated in or not here in this case it's updated if existed then make sure the python installation location is updated in the path variable uh, this is just for information python executable will be invoked from any directory or a location if path is updated with the python installation directory suppose if path is not updated with the python installation directory even after installing in the python software on the system then we have to invoke the python executable with the full path as like shown here c program tilde 1 python 38 python so the both cases the only difference is variable is updated we need to make sure the path variable is updated check the installed python 3.8.5 software logged in as an entry in add remove programs or not click on settings the windows settings window will be open then enter the set string programs select the add remove programs the app and features window will be open in the app and features we can see the installed programs entries we can see the python 3.8.5 here on the screen so it's not only the python software so any software installed on this system will be logged in add remove programs test a python program validate the installed python shell and interpreter executing the code correctly or not by doing the test open a command line window type python and enter it will display the python version details and loading the python shell 
in the Panitan shall prompt enter the print hello world statement. The interpreter will execute this statement and displays the hello world on the screen. Let's try one more statement 1 plus 1 and the result 2 will be displayed on the screen. Okay, now type exit, press enter, will come out of the shell. So the shell looks like working fine. Now we will validate the executing the Python file in the command line. So I have already created a test Python file in the Python test folder. Open the test.py file in a notepad. Just take a quick look. There is a couple of print statement hello world and print hi variable a assigned 4, b assigned 6, print a plus b. So if it not existed in our case, you can create a test file. And let's try to execute this, change the directory to d python test and execute the script file by python test.py. The interpreter will execute this file and displace the result on the screen as like shown here. Overall, the Python is installed successfully and working fine. If you have any questions, please write it on comment section. I will be reply back as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe the channel and click on bell icon for latest.